Good day everyone. Today, we have the 2020 Toyota Super Grandia Elite. Once again, this is Patrick Reyes TV. Let's go and have a review. Key fob. Around the vehicle, you could lock and unlock the doors just by pressing this button. So, that's currently locked. And to unlock, just wait a second and put your hand behind the handle. And it automatically unlocks. Now on the door sidings, you have some touch materials all around the door sidings and your wood paneling, as you can see, silver accents as well. And on the seats, you have automatic seat controls, seat adjustment, and your recliner. It's covered in leather, of course. So with the key fob inside the vehicle, you could start the accessories just by pressing this button. Once more for ignition. And to start the engine, just put your foot on the brake and push the button to start. Now before we check the interior, let's go ch and check out the outside first. Let's turn on the headlights, it has auto mode, fog lights, and the hazards. Both windows are automatic up and down. The much anticipated top of the light spec of the new Hi Ace is finally here, the Super Grandia Elite, featuring a more daring front fascia, a more stylish rear, and a very premium interior. The Super Grandia comes in three different variants the fabric, leather, and the Elite. What we have here is the Elite, which holds all features that Toyota Philippines can offer on the Super Grandia. The Super Grandia can surely match up with its ally, the Toyota Alphard having basically almost the same rear seats as the Alphard, if not much more. The Super Grandi, of course, isn't your typical van that we usually rent on long road trips. These vans are on the premium side, with four captain seats on the back and a bench seat on the rearmost part of the van. Some of the new features that the new Super Grandi has is the new LED headlights, rear backup camera, Toyota Safety Sense, adaptive cruise control, headlight washers, push start system, and a barrage of airbags for safety purposes. Now, the Super Grandia isn't really about what's on the outside, it's more on the inside obviously as you would buy this not dreaming of being the driver but being the passenger. You'll know more once we get inside, but to my conclusion, this is a big step up to the Super Grandia series. This is literally an all new model, not just a facelift or such. Props to Toyota for bringing this piece of hotcake in the market. Go and pop the hood. The Toyota Super Grandia has the same engine as the Toyota Fortuner and the Toyota Innova. It has the 1GD FTV straight 4 common rail diesel engine with variable nozzle turbo charger. It has 16 valves and dual overhead cam design. The engine produces 176 horsepower at 3,400 RPM and 450 newton meters of torque at 1,600 to 2,400 RPM. The Super Grandia baseline or top of the line variant only comes in a 6 speed automatic transmission. Fuel tank capacity is 70 liters.
Let's go and check the interior. Let's turn off the hazards. The left side of the steering wheel, you have your selector for the gauge on the middle. So you got your trip distance, total, total time, parking sensors, and a lot more. Your back button and your phone call. Of course, you need to connect your phone, the head unit, to make calls. Volume controls for the head unit. Your voice command. We have your cruise control right here and here we have the adaptive cruise control which automatically adjusts your speed to maintain a safe distance in front of another vehicle and the button below the acc is known as the lda or the lane departure alert it detects driving lanes and alerts the driver when the vehicle departs from its designated lane your next and previous for the head unit of course and your different modes so bluetooth audio ipod auxiliary so much more the Super Green D Elite has the 6-speed automatic transmission. Put the gear on reverse and you have your rear backup camera. And you also have your sport mode. You can do the manual mode via the gear shifter. So, uh, based on the experience on the inside of the Super Green D, everything is covered in soft material. Even, even the handbrake itself is covered in soft material as you can see so everything you see inside is very premium and you also have your leather look on here wood paneling of course and even the lights as you can see are leds so they're not just ordinary bulbs for the extra luxury finish of the super grandia you got cup holders in here one on each side Air conditioning vents you have your open and close button for both the uh, back doors and of course the super grandia is known for its uh, doors i mean the grandia and the commuter only has one side of the door opening while the super grandia has two sides opening on the back part which is very convenient for us you got your uh, digital climate control you got auto mode and you also have your control for the rear fans. As you can see, traction control right on the middle. Now, here on the center console, massive storage in here. And you see you have a light in here that gives you an ambient light inside the glove box or the center console. Wood paneling again, cup holders. You see the Super Grandia isn't massive for no reason. You see a lot of storage space in here on the middle as well. So you could probably put some magazine in here and probably your Jollibee or McDonald's meal, I don't know. There's a lot of storage in here, which is very nice. So the controls you see on the right-hand side of the steering wheel are for the ambient lights on the back, which I will show you later. This one adjusts the brightness level of the ambient light, and this one adjusts the color depending on your preference. We have three colors for the ambient light. We have the orange, blue, and white. Now the Super Grandia has the touchscreen head unit. Let's listen to the music. Hope we could get a good reception in here. Unfortunately not. But at least you get an idea on the different features of the uh, head unit. So you got iPod auxiliary phone via Bluetooth, a disc, and your voice command your mirror also has your auto dimming feature as you can see and this one is 
sunshade holder so this one's your uh, room light once you press this every light opens up even on the back SRS airbags and the Toyota commuter has three airbags the GL Grandia has two airbags and the Super Grandia has nine airbags so you feel very safe on the Super Grandia so let's go and check out the back seat now the Super Grandia has two doors one on each side and it's also automatic as you can see And when I told you earlier that the Super Grandia is very premium in the inside, even the grab handles are all soft touch materials with your chrome accents in here. It's very nice. Attention to detail. Even the recliner itself has chrome accents, which is very, very premium. You got your seat adjustment in here, recliner, and of course, since you're very premium, <laughs> you also have automatic seat controls. So let's go and hop in. Now it feels very, very comfortable inside the Super Grandia, even the headrest. They call it the butterfly headrest, I don't know. But this one has your extensions in here. So if you want to sleep and put your head on the side, you'll be very comfortable on this one. Now the Super Grandia Elite has four captain seats, but the primary captain seats is in the front. So of course you have your cup holder in here, again, wood paneling silver accents some storage in here automatic seat controls and you also have your table wood paneling again nice touch cup holders again and you could close this down if you want of course this wouldn't be a luxury car if you don't have your footrest which is by the way automatic control as well as you can see so you have that on both the front captain seats of the Super Grandia Elite. So you have your digital air conditioning controls right here on the back. So let's adjust the fan speed. There you go. And you can also adjust the color of your ambient light. There we go. Your time is in here as well. And this nanotechnology is seen right here now what it what it does is it re, it uh, removes uh, unpleasant smell on the inside of the super grandia Two USB outlets in here, very convenient for modern day uh, needs. Let's go and check out the rear seats. Easy access on the back. And I told you earlier, the front captain seats are the most premium seats on this vehicle. This one's also nice because it's also covered in leather, but it doesn't have the footrest that we have just like on the front seats also the headrest doesn't have the butterfly um, they call it the butterfly headrest I don't know but this one doesn't have it but it's still very comfortable two USB power outlets here again cup holders and you have your uh, storage in here Here is your ambient light right beneath the wood paneling and the silver accents as you can see it's now in color orange air conditioning vents on each side of the pillars 
also have your lights in here it also has your brightness level so that's the brightest you can tone it down a little bit and turn off also have your sunshade right here or sunscreen don't know how you call it so just pull that up and it automatically rolls down just pull it up again and it clips in right over there and we have the rearmost seats very similar to the GL as you can see just straightforward seats on the back which is very nice to accommodate more people Rear backup camera. See the seats on the back are the most common seats of the three uh, specs of the high ace. So you could fold down the seats like this one to add more storage space on the back. So, I hope you enjoyed the full review of the 2020 Toyota Super Grindy Elite. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you.